Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had every solid individual, smash that subscribe button. Go and have them smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to all the patrons. I love you guys. We're almost to a thousand. I can't believe it. When we get there, I'm going to drop a video ain't nobody ever seen before. Make sure you hit that link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. This episode right here, man, it's going to be a Q&A question and answer follow up. From my Instagram, Hector underscore underscore Bravo. I always run out of enough time of the day to answer them. And I guess that's a blessing. That is a blessing, man. I love interacting with you guys. Is what I do now. Thoughts on Arizona Department of Corrections. Right off the top of my head, I've seen a lot of videos of staff assaults. I know they're underpaid. I know they're understaffed. But you guys... The Department of Corrections of Arizona is still like, <laughs> it's still a correctional department. I mean, you guys are doing the best with what you guys have. You guys seem to be doing a good, good, good job. Do you think it's possible to break CCPOA and start new? Um, yeah, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Don't ever think nothing's not possible. Yeah, it just takes somebody to, you, you be the one. You do it, right? Um... Or you designate somebody to do that easily, 100%. Why does CDCR not hold managers accountable? Clearing adverse files from CTF. Yeah, there's that AW up there. She'd be looking like a chola. She's in my crosshairs. And by crosshairs, I mean I'm going to speak on her. Don't get crazy, lady. Don't fucking flatter yourself. It's been brought to my attention. There's a manager in the CTF area. She be looking like fucking uh, shy girl from Mi Vida Loca. She be up in that warden's fucking, uh, who's up there, Borla? She be up there in that fucking warden's, uh, conference room, man. Getting her fought, her adverse action fucking deleted. Yeah, well, like my book, like my good friend Sean Dermant told me, I never wanted to say Sean Dermant, but somebody told me he changed up and he's a retired annuitant, so he could always pack his bags and leave again for the second time. Like a good friend Sean Dermant told me, red card holders take care of red card holders. Come on, Sean, don't change, man. Don't fucking change. I loved you then. I still love you now. We want the old Sean back. The Sean that didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Love you, Sean. Big badass, Sean. Uh, what do you think of the CDCR sergeant who just got busted with bringing in drugs to the prison? Good. I'm glad you asked me this because I'm not going to make an entire video on this. Right. I think for you guys on the outside, think it's a bigger deal than what it is. Meaning, yeah, it is a big deal. It's a massive deal. That, that, that individual is a scumbag. Okay, a dirty cop, a crooked cop, a corrupt cop, all of the above, a shitbag, a criminal. Yeah, Hector, we get the point. But it happens often, often. Like super, super often. Maybe not super, super often, but often enough for me to not be surprised. Okay, that dude had 21 years in, man. I've known individuals 20 plus years in, not even, not, not friends, acquaintances from the prison. There was uh, that male officer, Rosales, at the watch office at Sentinella State Prison. He was fucking crooked. The DEA fucking took him down at hamburger stand. Dude was practically a fucking Mexican mafia associate. That was a fucking CO. Uh, look at that lady. In housing unit Alpha 2 or Alpha 3, man. She was shacking up with big old inmate Perry. Then inmate Perry assaulted a good sergeant. Well, he was an officer then. Over a fucking cell phone. They had naked pictures of that CO. This is why it's dangerous, man. You're fucking scumbag. You want to be a criminal? Go be a criminal. Right? But you want to be a CO? Be a fucking CO. Don't be a fucking crooked son of a bitch. You're going to end up in prison. Look at Huggy. Look at Huggy. There's so many. I know more than 20. I know more than 20, okay? I don't like talking about it. And it's not that I don't like being transparent. I don't like talking about it. I don't like giving them airtime. I don't like giving them energy. I don't like wasting my breath on pieces of shits. I don't. Fucking scumbags. Is that stabbing on your patron 
Title Devil 37 C Second Vid Riot in Pleasant Valley Brawl where you are 2019 with the NF. I don't think I have one titled Devil 37 Second Video or Riot. But there is a lot of uh there's a lot of NF and stuff from the south up on that Patreon. Make sure you hit that link in the description below. I'm telling you, you're definitely missing out. You guys be bullshitting. Don't be bullshitting. Trust me, when I, we hit a thousand, oh whoo! What's up, man? For the medical exam, is the use of hearing aids a disqualification? I would say it is not. No different. I would say that it's not, okay? No different than, than being able to use uh, eyeglasses, right? Corrective vision. And that, to me, would be like a discrimination thing, man. I would sue them to high heaven. I'm, I'm not, uh, this is the first time I'm saying this. During the hearing exam, your boy cannot hear out of his right ear at all, right? There was a roadside bomb, May 12th, 2004. We're coming up. Today's May 4th. May 12th, 2004, motherfucking bomb blew up right next to me. <laughs> One of the bombs that blew up next to me. Lost my hearing in my right ear um, ever since, 2004. And the way I realized that I lost my freaking hearing is because I would always be on, my, on the phone and I would always transition to my left ear, right, like. And then I'm, I can't, right? It, it muffles. It, it fucking sounds weird. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about. So I always talk on the left phone. I don't know if you guys ever hear me or pay attention. But I can't do this. Um, and yeah, the hearing test. I failed the hearing test. I failed the hearing. I can't believe I'm saying this. I failed the hearing test for CDCR. Um, it was at PMH, Pioneers Memorial Hospital in Brawley, California, across the street. Across the street of the new doctor buildings. <laughs> I was in the little booth. Anybody that's taking a hearing test in the military, law enforcement, is the hearing booth. And then you put on the headphones and you hit the little button. I failed the first go around, right? I step outside and the fucking, there's a, a nurse there. She's like, have you ever been exposed to any loud noises? And the other girl, there was two girls there. She goes, yeah, he was in Iraq. This was in 2006, right? The paperwork shows 2004. And she looks at me, and I'm just like, oh, don't let me not pass it. Don't let me not get into CDCR because I cannot hear shit. Um, he's like, yeah, he was in Iraq. And she goes, hey, look. She pulled me aside. Hey, look. Keep pushing that button, right? When you think you hear something, or just, just keep pushing it. I'm like, oh, I got you. Hey, the whole time I'm like that, like boom, 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 boom. And I fucking passed. That's a true story. Whole truth, nothing but the truth. Thank you. No, thank you. Mm. Holy shit, where am I at? Oh, god damn, how did this fucking get shot up to the foot? Man, I skipped I skipped so many. No, I didn't skip them. It went up. I just spoke about that, Sergeant. If I got a speeding ticket right after I cleared backgrounds, can I be disqualified? I took psych and medical. You're already getting paranoid, bro. They do say that if you have negative contact, I would fucking call your, uh, it's kind of one of those things. You can not say nothing and hope they don't find out. It's a fucking speeding ticket though, bro. It's not like they're going to call your background investigator for a fucking speeding ticket. If you feel like you need to call your background investigator and say, hey man, I got a speeding ticket. You're taking a risk. Oh, my goodness. This is a two-part question, which was kind of difficult to understand. What would you do if you're at the hospital and an inmate tries to make a run for it, but the inmate didn't make it far enough? Will you report it or try to avoid making a 51 No, of course. Anything that an inmate does, I'm going to report it as far as that goes. Anything, right? Yeah, you try to put that. You try to do cover that up. You're going to get more trouble. Here's why. The inmate's going to attempt to escape again or somebody's going to record you chasing down a fucking inmate and then that video is going to get back to the prison. Are you kidding me right now? And the prison, they're going to be like, what the hell happened here? How are you going to explain that? That an inmate took off running on you, chased him down the hallway and you didn't report that. Oh no, that's all bad, right? Transparency, report it. 
Unless you walk in, you see the, your partner beating the brakes off of somebody, you just turn around and act like you didn't see shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> huh? Oh, no, I'm looking for the lactation room. That's not the lactate. That's definitely not the lactation room. <laughs> I told you. I told you I am deaf. I'm deaf. So I can't hear. Yells for help. <laughs> and my eyes are getting shot out, G. My eyes. You guys think I'm fucking lying. I had an excuse for everything, right? Lieutenant Farrell, did you see Officer So-and-So beat up that inmate? I'm like Helen Keller right now. Tune in Tokyo. Tune in Tokyo. Oh, Hector, that's the fucking green wall, bro. That's code of silence. Motherfucker, look at the code of silence happening in uh, in Jeff's office. They got to lead by example. Make the change happen at the top. Then the change will follow suit on the bottom. It's fucking common sense, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. My life sucks. Well, not anymore. Um, Is it gay if your boots are on? Oh, that, oh, I... Real quick, shout out to Seven Day Tactical. Shout out to Seven Day Tactical. I'm wearing their shirt. They sent me a packet, a care package, a uh, goodie bag. Um, I'll put the uh, my PO box in the description below. If you guys want to send me some some goodies, but shout out to Seven Day Tactical. Nah, nothing's gay in the army, bro. Anything goes, especially in the winter time. Spooning for sure. Did you hear about that lieutenant that got busted recently? Not sure what prison. Yeah, I think you're talking about that sergeant. Yeah. See how everybody cares about that sergeant. The fucking scumbag. Look, when that dude's when that dude gets out of prison, yeah, that was fucking hooping fucking fentanyl. No, nah, I don't know if he was hooping it. He's definitely bringing in fentanyl. Um, it's going to be a fucking nobody. That's what you want? 20 fucking years of your career to be shit, shit down the drain? Yo, any, anybody can make that mistake, Hector. Oh, the fuck? They, that's not a fucking mistake. That is a criminal act. How can we get you to be our CCPOA president? Thank you for that, man. Uh, we can do it. We can make it happen. All we got to do is change the bylaws. Nah, I don't know. That's not important. Change the bylaws. We can make it happen. Again, man, I'm over here doing the Lord's work, tip of the spear type. You guys have every right. As a matter of fact, I'm encouraging this. Do more work. Do more work. Do more work at your level. As a matter of fact, I- I'm going to be leaving soon, right? The more I'm getting closer to the date, the more that it's fucking go time. Ba ba ba, go time. Um, I'm going to need you guys to pick it up, right? Because I'm going to pull it back. Pull it, pull it, pull that skin all the way back, G. I'm going to need you guys to step it up, right? Hitting me up in the DMs, if you know what I mean. Um... Yeah, man, put forth the effort. And I know you guys are probably thinking like, well, I'm in the prison. I got to work the line. Yeah, motherfucker, that's your department. I'm I'm the chess. I'm the queen of the chessboard. Did you ever wish you were a Marine instead? That's a fair question. That's a fair question, right? And those that know my story know that I walked into the Marine recruiter station first. Then I failed the practice ASVAB test. They laughed at me and they told me to go try my luck next door at the Army. True story, whole true story. Nothing but the truth. That was at the front of the Costco in El Centro. I like the, I like Marines. I like the title of Marines. I have mad respect for Marines. I like 0311 grunts. Um, I love Marines. Who doesn't like Marines? Uh, do I wish I had been a Marine? And knowing what I know now and having my experiences, nah, the Army was cool. Grunt, uh, 11 bang bang. 13 month deployment. I look at uh I look at Marines, I look at Army. Army uh, Marines do what? 6 7 month deployment. Army does 13, 15, 18 month deployment. I look at the pros, the cons. Marines get the shittier gear, Army gets the better gear. Um pros, cons. Plus in the Army I got to pick Europe. I got to pick my MOS infantry. I got to pick Europe. That's I like having choices, right? But yeah, for sure, Marines are fucking badass. Devil dogs. Shout out to them. What do you think about the first watch pipa when there's only one officer the entire eight hours alone? Calling sick. Calling sick. You got to realize, man, you're showing up to a job. You're with the pipe. 
you're you got inmates boarded up, inmate Jones boarded up, inmate Jaime Osuna boarded up, his cellmate's fucking dead. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Usually they put the officer that they don't like in that position. Homie, maybe you did you rat on somebody, bro? Um Calling sick, bro. Fuck. You're gonna go show up. It's like I'm telling you, putting on clown makeup every day, showing up and go do the pipe and add sick. Why? So you can miss one? So it doesn't and then they write you up? And then you get held over for second watch in the same exact position? Nah. Or potty watch? Nah, not buying it. Not buying it. Submitted ESOF March 24th. Still no call. March, April, May. They're not gonna hire your boy, right? Yeah, you'll be fine, bro. Stop thinking negative. And it may, even, if you, even if you don't get hired, it's probably a blessing in disguise. You'll be fine. Send a respectful email. And I, I always say this. Spend, send a respectful email to your background investigator. Say, hey, I would like to get a status update whenever possible. If possible. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> level 4 SNY or level 2 NDS? Bro, right off the top of my head, level 2 NDS. I'm trying to go fucking. I'm not trying to deal with that. Should I take advantage of my pronouns even though I'm married? No strip outs. Yes. Yes. Married, not married. Yes. Every female needs to go change her fucking ID to male tomorrow. I already said this. Well, today's Saturday. Have you heard anything about Corcoran? Just Corcoran shoe wars back in the day. Nothing. Corcoran. I like Corcoran. I like the sound of Corcoran. Corcoran shoe. Corcoran sounds like a hardcore fucking prison. <laughs> Did you hear about the staff assaults at CTF where five officers got hurt? Yeah, I got a picture of one of the sergeants got bit in the arm, man, I, by a sureño. How the fuck are you going to be an active sureño and bite somebody? You should, should, they should revoke your active card immediately. I know you're watching this from the hole. Why would you bite somebody? Well, keep your teeth to yourself. The homie right here said, do you remember your first transport? I like this homie a lot right here. But I don't remember my first transport. I'm assuming he asked me that. Speaking of Marines, shout out to Marines. I know who the Marines are, right? I know who the motherfucking Marines are, right? Because I hold them high. I hold them up here, right? Uh, I don't remember my first transport. I'm assuming he's asking me because he probably remembers my first transport. Probably something happened. I don't recall. <laughs> I don't recall. And then this, uh, somebody wrote, and I, and, and I initially... Uh, Somebody wrote this. Advice for a female going into CDCR at 39 years old. Is it too old? Okay. Age-wise, no. 39 is per... I'm 39 right now. There's pros and cons to everything. One of the pros of going into the California Department of Corrections at the age of 39 is that you're not wet behind the ears. You're not naive. You're not immature. Or you shouldn't be. Uh, You you have life experience. Um, You're you're, uh, even keel. You should be uh, mature. Responsible. Right. Uh, these are all perks as opposed to a 22 year old. Right. And Lord knows how 22 year olds act. So we've all been 22. Right? I'm not knocking them. It's just age, life, experience, maturity. Uh, remember, the human brain does not stop developing till the age of 26. I like putting an emphasis on that. It means a lot. It says a lot. Oh, you're going to go in at 39. There's perks to everything. That means that you could ret- I don't know what your guys' retirement age is now. 57? Oh, my God. You do the math. 39 to 57. Okay? My advice to you is when you hit 57, you're all, let's say you're almost there. No disrespect. Bounce. Bounce. Promote. Promote fast from the time you're now 39 to 57. Promote. Officer, sergeant, lieutenant, captain, AW. Get the fuck out. Don't look back. Rob the state. Take them for what they're worth. That's it. That's a good plan. Yeah, you're... Would I rather be a 22-year-old employee CO right now in 2024 or a 39-year-old CO right now? I would rather be a 39-year-old CO because you're closer to the finish line age-wise. You're 22. You ain't got shit coming. With that, oh, no, there's more. I don't know. I didn't have my check stuff but an old check. Would they use that for backgrounds check? Oh, bro. You're going to have to be more um, concise with that. You're going to have to provide more than just a, a paste. Of. With that, let me give you a uh, 
message for today. The message for today is, do you guys understand what I'm trying to tell you? When I tell you that I'm going to be needing you guys to pick it up very soon. Since I will be most likely traveling abroad, I need you guys to relay information to me faster. Faster, precise, emails, DMs. That's only if you want me to continue this, right? I could give, t- I say I could give two fucks. I'm going to go do what I'm going to do. I've been telling you guys this. Right? I'm going to go do what I'm going to do. The Lord's work. But if you guys want me to continue this, you guys have to fucking turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. With that, this episode was sponsored by the following patrons. I love you with all my heart and soul. You're the heartbeat of this channel. Mark, Darlene from Santa Ana, blood on my knife or shit on my D. VSP Yeti, Sabatino, at a barrel toe. Kenny, any reason I can't hold you over. Fontaine, Dixon, McCrary, Nasty, Nick, the Corcoran, Atrocious, M. Loke 87. Kevin, program time. Steve, hey, I'm just medical. Brianna, Carnalito, treatment not time. No shirt, no shoes, no day room. Enforced fit. Fishing is life. Don't take my blue card, Sergeant. GG. Vinny Melapela, Santa Barbara County. Partner, get my six and pop my back back in. Don Chicharo. Shut the F up and make it wink. A la verga, 760. Scorpio Rising. Miss Raw. Geo. G Ride. Vote Nuscamel. The Prison Psychologist. Fuerte 84. Zeus. I have an eight hour chrono. Did I ever say Michigan Wolverines? There's like 10 Michigan Wolverines, man. I think we're going to look into that. I don't want to be charging you quadruple. El Chicharon, put me out six self, a wall like Monte, one bad yard pedal, Cherokee Cat, Loco Moco, the Big Bad Wolf, Raider 62, L Eli, time to switch agencies, Gerardo, Steven. Rigo SD, Pelon, Eric, not on my watch. Who's doing the pipe? Denise, the real McCoy, Jay, a pogue in the six pack, Keith. Devil Dog, Ricardo, Maladjusted, Bankroll, Suave, The Homemade, Carmine, The Pitbull, American Mestizo, Lori, 559CO, Ruben, CJ Zavalza, EOP Whisper, F your 602, Las Vegas, Slice Live, go check them out, Gavino, Heart of the Yard, and an Ass in the Hole, Facts, Bravo 6 and Bravo 7, AdSeg, you better shape up. If you're an inmate on Charlie Yard, Level 4, SNY, EOP, and then you go to AdSeg and you act a fool, they're going to forward me all your names, I'm going to blast you on here. Three of these nuts, Lockdown 5, Crystal Bon, La Reina, Winston, Tony, the Mexican Snowman, El Skid, the OG, Hobie Cat, Lead with Love, Elver 12, did that Samoa say Ufa, J-I-S-K-E-N, Big Bad 48, Nova, Linda, the retired CEO, Mikey 559, Chevelle 66, Crispy Nuts, Bad Karma, and the homie Rags. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, make sure you hit that link right here in the description below. You're definitely missing out. Keep pushing forward.